birthday, kiddo. Hi, happy birthday to me. So, uh, Kelly gets two recordings for her birthday, but one of them didn't work out. Yes. We'll tell you more at the end. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm Don, that's Kelly. We do a Brewvent thing. <laughs> Today's the 18th day. Sure. Um, and we rate a beer, we give it reindeer. That's what we do. Yep. Um, what do you got for me, kiddo? Well, we have to do something a little extra special. Uh huh. So, here's what we're doing today. <laughs> okay. This is Duclaw, <laughs> the pastriarchy, unicorn farts after dark beer. <laughs> oh my god. Look, the beer might be terrible, but that all alone is making me happy. It's, so. Oh my god, it's an 8.5 as well. All right, okay. All right. So, here's how we find out what unicorn farts are like. Um, Happy birthday, baby! Thank you, my darling. I got you unicorn for you got me unicorn farts I, for your birthday. I did. All right. What a relationship we have. I know. I love it. All right. This is uh, edition twenty-five. This is their twenty-fifth shot at trying to do unicorn farts. Uh, that is a beautiful imperial stout. Yeah. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Really, you you got that rolling, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Awesome. Uh, you've got some beautiful creamy body to this, mm -hmm. really nice, you know, it's a one finger head, but it's really thick and foamy, mm -hmm. and it's your birthday, you gotta try first. All right. Oh, it smells good. Like unicorn farts. Um, what are you tasting, baby? Well, I'm definitely tasting coffee and chocolate. Mm hmm For sure. In a good mix? In a good mix. Um, and the texture of it is good, too, because mm -hmm. I think that was part of the problem with that other one that we had. Yeah. It's just like, ooh. Um, it tastes like a cookie. Like, there's something cookie-ish about it. I'm not sure what it is. Um, this includes chocolate cinnamon crunch. It's a chocolate cinnamon crunch breakfast cinnamon. stout with gold glitter. Oh my gosh. I'm looking for the glitter. Um, I don't necessarily see it, but I don't <laughs> doubt it's there. I believe it's there. Like I believe in unicorns. Yes. We're all good. Um, so, um... What are you thinking? I think it's absolutely delicious, and it solves the problems that we had with that other chocolate mm -hmm. one we had. This, all the flavors are blended in as they're making the beer, they weren't in, it doesn't feel like they were an afterthought. No. They brewed a beer with these flavors intentionally. That's really the coffee rich. is really strong. Really strong. I like coffee for some people, that would be a problem. But, uh, but it's not for me, surprisingly, because I'm not a coffee person, but this is delicious. And the chocolate is not sweet chocolate, it's no. cocoa. Yeah. And that's a huge difference. Um, it's very, it's got this wonderful mocha kind of flavor to mm -hmm. it. A little I'm extra really brightness from it. the cinnamon too, a little yeah. extra warmth from the cinnamon, which is yum. It's such a, it's great like winter warming kind of stout. I'm really liking it. So, I'm liking it quick, as well. Quick step around to, we also tried this, and for some reason the camera didn't record it. I hope I'm not cursing this one because of this. This, Evil Twin Brewing, Even More Jesus, we will probably try this again at some point. Imperial Stout rocked. Our socks. That's why, yeah, bummed you don't get to see our reaction because we really loved this one. So freaking good. Yeah. Uh, we gave it eight reindeer, yep. so if you get a chance, try this. But in the meantime, let's talk about this. Let's um, do. So, uh, I'm, 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 the name is hilarious. It's so good. They went there, but clearly, uh, to me, uh, as a marketing person, they weren't going for a gimmick. They were going for something that actually celebrated how proud they were of their product. Mm -hmm. They weren't saying, hey, I got something shitty here, put a really cool can and a great name and we'll push it that way. This is like, we got something really good. We want people to notice this on a shelf. Let's call it Unicorn Farts. Genius. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm ready to um, to celebrate your birthday. All right, what's eight? Eight, eight is six. Is, yeah, so you're, you're sweet 16. <laughs> Kelly's sweet 16 today, so I'm ready to give that an extra eight. What do you think? That's an eight for me as well. Yeah. That's delicious. It's delightful. I mean, everything about it, from the actual quality of the beer itself to the way it's marketed, to the language, um, it's just absolutely lovely. I don't see the gold glitter. I'm a little disappointed me I can't too. see it, but it could be because of my lighting. Um, I can see it a little bit now that the head's gone. Oh, you know, you're Is right. Is that it? Like okay. Just a little shimmer. That's all just you need. Can I get it? <laughs> all right. 
So, folks, um, I want you all to, to take a moment and on three, you're going to wish Kelly a happy birthday. One, two, three. So Good nice job. of you. Thank Great you. The you, dude in the back with the falsetto. <laughs> nice touch. Nice blend. Uh, so, um, so for today, for day 18, Duclaw, the pastryarchy <laughs> unicorn farts after dark chocolate cinnamon crunch breakfast stout with gold glitter. 8.5% alcohol, 25th edition. Brewed in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, gets a reindeer. Sure does. Uh, and until we drink again, we're looking for the chupacabra fart uh, <laughs> accompaniment. Um, you know, it's a little better with Mexican food. Uh, so I, we, I'm Don. That's Kelly. And. Cheers. <laughs>